Happy Sunday people. Taking some time away from the charts, getting ready for the market to open up Sunday night, ready for the week ahead and the chaos. I'm just out at the beach. Enjoying the peace, reset the mind, get some fresh air for the body. This week, next week, we're heading towards the end of the month, finishing up the start of the quarter as it were. What do I expect? Maniacs, chaos, too many people bringing too much leverage to the chart. People getting hurt, people bleeding cash. And I suspect that dollar is going to keep on pumping. It's on a little dip at the moment. What does that mean for you and me, human beings? Citizens of the UK or other countries that maybe aren't the US and don't play with the dollar so much. It means every single thing that comes into your country buy at shops that wasn't grown or made in your country and even some of those to be fair it was bought and imported with American dollars that are costing every other country a lot more of their pounds francs euros zlotties pick your currency everything's hurting Japanese just had to intervene but it probably wasn't enough so you know, the yen's going to take some more pain, the British Pound's going to take some more pain because we're yet again trying to pull up another government. In the meantime, even the Americans with Joe Biden are sitting laughing at us. You understand what that means? Not good. So, what are we going to do? Well, until they can sort this dollar problem out, we're going to have to stop buying things from other countries. We're not going to be able to sell things to other countries. People here are going to lose their jobs. If any of them got left, they're going to run out of time to work for their cash. Because money, cash, is a token of exchange. Your time. I will exchange my time as a mechanic. I will spend an hour of my life fixing your car. In exchange for that, you will give me something that is equivalent to an hour of your specialist trade. So, I don't know, you're a greengrocer. Give me an hour of sorting vegetables out, put me a week's worth of meals together. In the middle is a small piece of metal that we in Britain call a pound. Cash. Token of exchange. I will exchange time. So the Americans with their inflation currently think their time is worth more than all of yours, of mine. I disagree. I think everybody's time should be worth what it's worth. It's all equal. We ain't here long. Is there anything you can do about this? No! There's no hero, no white knight. This is the real world. This is not Hollywood. Until they fix that, and they will fix it when they choose to, we can't fix us. And apparently, even if they didn't need to do that, we wouldn't be fixing us. Because every time we have, it fails. And I just hope that at some point, we're allowed to actually have a little bit of a say in who our own leaders are. Rather than, I know, them picking themselves again would be nice but in the meantime I'm going to go back have some dinner stop enjoying the view because tonight i got to get back to the charts and tomorrow it's another week and the chaos begins again so just understand that the American dollar has every other currency under the thumb pressing hard do the Americans deliberately want to destroy the world economy? No! Believe it or not, they're actually trying to, in their own little way, fix their own people. They're putting America first. The British, for a time, put Britain first. And I suspect that Mr. Sunak might get in because he's a friend of the banks and the markets. So it doesn't to do with the people. Where else are we going to go? Europe. Europe's going to be on fire and on strike because what are the choices it got? Half of it's a war, half of it is sandwiched between us and Russia or the Arab nations. The oil situation is quite interesting. Again, moves dollar. And what's dollar going to do? It's going to fight back. You're seeing this with OPEC. So all I can suggest is just hang on, do your work, keep your door nice and tight. Again, metaphorically, go see your friends. But make sure that there's nothing coming into your house intellectually. It's trying to steer you off your path. What is your path? Be 
still survive another day. Keep yourself fed, keep yourself warm. If you've got kids, if you've got a wife or a husband or whatever, you need to keep them in your life. Keep them safe. Sometimes that's not about politics. Sometimes you need to just look in the mirror and figure out how am I going to do that. Keep the noise out. I'm going to go back to the noise because actually I love it. So I'll see you next time.